And Ghana and Ivory Coast have suspended the sale of cocoa beans for 2020 and uh, 2021 crop season. The decision by both countries, according to the chief executive of Cocoa Board, Joseph Boahin Edu, is to allow the international buyers to pay $2,600 per ton to cocoa farmers. The two countries agreed to the suspension after realizing that smallholder farmers are not earning much. They again identified that farmers have been over the years deprived of a living wage. With the suspension, the international community is expected to pay a floor price of $2,600 to the farmers. If it is $2,599, even missing $1, the buyer must add. That's the essence. Until the buyer asks that, you know, until he tops that one dollar, we are not going to sell. It's simplicity. Until the 2020-2021 price hits $2,600 per ton, we are not selling. However, there are issues about revenue shortfall and when the two countries will resume sales after the suspension. But the CEO says both countries will not lose, and by July 3, a technical committee will indicate when it will resume. Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire will do four sales because uh, anytime the price of cocoa is good, then you tend to sell some of your cocoa ahead of time, even before uh, the cocoa trees flower. And that's what we do. And that's what we are saying. We've suspended that. Because process was ongoing to sell those, uh, you know, volumes. But we've suspended everything. Meanwhile, both countries have agreed to control the production of cocoa and also improve on consumption on the African continent. We can address the question of sugar. It means it will stimulate consumption even in these conventional markets. Africa, we don't consume chocolate. Here in Ghana... The whole total consumption of Africa is 4% of global consumption. Here in Ghana, our per capita consumption is 0.5. Whereas Germany, in Holland, and others, you talk about 8 kilo. Ours is 0.5. So we, let's look at the consumption side. In a related development, the two countries have agreed to develop a roadmap to tackle child labor in the cocoa sector.